Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Friday, August the 23rd. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you might have for me, you can use this email address. This is a link to get into our free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our uh, trading room. And this is a link. In this link that you're getting, you will see the promo code for 25% off. Now, this will expire tonight. This is Friday, August the 23rd at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? And that's 25% off either the first year or, sorry, off the first month or the entire year of a Trade Ideas subscription. And as always, if you take, say you take out a monthly uh, subscription and you want to upgrade to a yearly, if you do it within 30 days, we'll honor the 25%. And also, if you want to uh, upgrade from, say, standard to premium. And I open the room every morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen, get live on the mic. And I go up to 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and up to 3 o'clock on Fridays. Well, what a day. <laughs> First of all, here's the Foot Locker. And this is the trade. This is really, I only took two trades. I'm going to show you the other one, but uh, they only took two trades today. But what a trade this one turned out to be. So Foot Locker was an earnings play, released earnings uh, this morning before the market opened. And obviously market reaction, terrible. Uh, right now Foot Locker is, oh, let me just see. I got to get the symbol linking going. So I'm just going to, and then get Foot Locker up again. Okay, so Foot Locker is down 16% right now. Now, the interesting thing is I tried to short this right about the same level. Uh, I think it was around 36.42. I couldn't get it. It was down 10% already and got a little upset. You know, this uptick rule can drive you crazy. You want to short something, but if it's down more than 10%, uh, you, have to get some, you have to get some action at the... Just one second, please. You have to get some action. I'm just doing something on my other monitor. Okay, you have to get some action at the at the uh, the ask. So if you just go in at the bid, you just won't get a fill. It has to be some action at the ask. And then yes, if it goes back, if it goes to the bid, but you might be in a lineup of people trying to get it, like a queue. So anyway, the bottom line is I miss it the first time, and then I was no, not not that upset because it popped up. I tried it again, and lo and behold, I got it. So I was able to short it at, it's actually 36.47, and I covered, uh, I, in, actually in two stages, uh, sort of an average of about 36.21. And then it came, it popped right back up again, and then I reshorted it. I got right back into the short at 36.27. Boy, am I glad I did. Look what it did. I took some out at 35.54. Remember, this is 36.20, uh, what was it? It's 36.27, really, that I'm in on the short. Took some out here at 35, um, no, I'm sorry, uh, 35, 52 or so. And then on that bounce, I mean, it looked like it was going to keep going down. On that bounce, I'm out of it to, uh, entirely. Now, that may, be a, that may be a mistake, but, you know, 34.75. So from 36.27 down to 34.75, I'll take it. Now, one of the reasons, you know, I was watching this, of course, in the pre-market. One of the reasons why I liked it because you have to actually get a monthly chart. You're going to see why. I mean, look at this. There is your so-called support for, for Foot Locker. So, I mean, it's still $4 away, almost $5 away. Of course, when it was up here, it was 6 $7 away. So, uh, you know, this is what really attracted me uh, to... It was a little bit choppy at the beginning of the day. But once, once it settled in, it really, really started to sink. So Foot Locker, for me, obviously turned out to be a great trade. Now, I, I have to show you these. Now, are, did they all work? No, and I'm going to show you what, what JWN, SIG, and BJ, um, what they did. Now, these are all retailers. Now, remember now, the market started to do this. I guess uh, White House came out with, uh, you know, he was upset with, um, um, I guess, the, the, the head of the Fed. And also, and, and then the, the tariffs with China, you know, it's all going all, all over the place. So anyway, this happened and that, of course, destroyed a lot of potential long trades. But early, let me get to the 15-minute time frame. So look at FSLY. 
get an alert at 2549, uh, right at 935. I have a five minute delay on this, all right? So another, this is what I, well, it, I won't start getting, I, I put the time, time start at 9.35, five minutes after they open. So we won't get anything early. Uh, well, it's still early, but not, not right at 9.30. So look at this move, 9.35, and almost like there is, is a 26.98, and it gets as high as 28.01 before it pulls back. Unbelievable. This one is even more incredible. I mean, we saw this in the pre-market. This is an earnings play. It's a, it's a, it's a Chinese company. It's an earnings play. Very, very low float, 3.2 million in the float. So they released earnings after hours. This is the move area there. And, you know, this is the tan area. So it looked great. And then it started to come back. And in fact, I think a lot of the China stocks started to do this. Uh, because the, you know, again, word coming out of the White House, you know, increasing the tariffs and all, or something to do with tariffs. I, I don't know the specifics. And a lot of the China stocks were, were falling. Uh, I look at Tiger as an example. This is one that I was watching also. You know, this had a big, big move up. Remember now, this is all, this is at 8 o'clock now. I mean, this is the pre-market. This is all happening. And uh, Tiger was, was an earnings play. And I thought, okay, maybe, maybe this will ha have some room. So I kind of thought that this FFHL might do the same thing. Boy, was I wrong. I mean, yes, it had the pullback, but look what happened when the market opened. And look at the alert, 435. So right, it was right there, 435. If you're wondering why it didn't uh, trigger here, uh, it was either, it was, I, you know, I'd have to check the filters, but some filter prevented it. But doesn't matter, 435, and it got as high as uh, 637 before finally it is now pulled back. But two initial alerts, just incredible. Now, typically, I do not take trades in the first 15 minutes. I don't like to do it, but I may have to change my tune a little bit. I did take uh, a trade yesterday from this, uh, the BJ, uh, an earnings play. I took it early also, and it worked out very well. Uh, now, the JWN, the SIG, and the BJ, all retailers, the retailers just were getting clobbered, you know. So even though we got the alert there, I actually did take this trade at um, 37.8. It, it was kind of chopping around a little bit. I thought, well, maybe, just maybe. Didn't love it because, you know, I thought there was probably too much uh, resistance nearby. But I thought I would try it. And one of the things I said is, well, where do you put your stop? Well, for me, I'm going to put a stop really at the trigger. So if it, if it goes to the trigger or a little bit below, I'm out. So I'm in at 30.78, basically got out at 30.73, took a five cent loss. But what happened afterwards? You know, and we talk about this in the room all the time. You know, I don't mind taking losses. I have a managed loss, and, but I don't let my ego or, or, get my, or get stubborn about, nah, it's going to come back. Because that five cent loss could have turned into, you know, a, well, not a disaster, you know, depending on your account size, though. But, for, you know, going from... Um, 3078 down to 2905 you know that's a dollar 78 or a dollar 70 or so so i mean instead of a 5 cent loss i'm looking at a dollar 70 loss which is crazy so that's why i always obey my stops had this turned around again i could have got back in it you know i mean commissions are so cheap that there's no reason to uh, to you know worry about getting out of something because well man if i get back in commissions are going to are going to destroy me so anyway we talk about that in the room all the time you know put a stop in if you get stopped out just take it and and move on um what else do i have here and then the sig the same thing you know i didn't take these ones because now the market was starting to you know do do this thing so even though i got the alert you have to be smart you know, you get the alerts on these things and you just have to be a little bit smarter. Uh, what is the overall market doing? Why am I going to try to go long on something, especially if it's not, I mean, these had earnings yesterday, or at least BJ did, but why am I going to go long when the market, where's the SPY? Oh, shoot. I'm, oh, here we are. Why am I going to go long when the market's doing this? You know, you got to be, I mean, I don't want to say crazy, but... You know, you really have to pay attention to what the market's doing. So then all of a sudden then, you know, and I haven't really followed uh, too much of this, but look at Tilray now, 29.15, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, it chopped, it popped, it chopped around a lot. So this is the, you know, this is the short version of, of, the, of the evening scan next day, which I really haven't paid that much attention to because the, the, the longs have been really working well over the last month or so. But, you know, we get days like today where you get these, these downturns. You have to start looking at all these, all these short plays too. 
Uh, I wonder if CG's you know, 2479, uh, KLXE. Uh, 1029. You know, I mean, they're, they're not quite as spectacular as these long ones, but nonetheless, it gives you short opportunities and long opportunities. And again, I, as I said yesterday, to access all this, I mean, I basically do all the work for you. You just go to the new channel bar and you just select my channel down here, Barry's Windows, just select it and you'll get all, you'll get the same windows that I'm following all day long. Basically, you know, I, 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 I create the symbol list for you for the next day. You know, here, here it is. There is a symbol list that was created for the next day. And, um, you know, for today. But I did this yesterday, last night. And here it is. They don't all trigger. They're not, and I, you know, I don't, I don't want them all to trigger. In fact, if, if, if I get too many triggering, then probably what I would do is I would start to tighten up the, the, the filters on my alert. Because the idea is not to get 30 alerts a day. You know, get some good quality, you know, especially on the long side, you know, you know, within 10 and that, that will be good enough for me. So anyway, um, man, I don't know what to say. I mean, this has just turned into a, uh, you know, the Foot Locker. Absolutely. I only did the two trades, the JWN and the, and the Foot Locker. I did it. I've done, I am in another one that I did kind of on my own. Uh, the Lila. Why did I take Lila? There was a reason I took Lila, but anyway, Lila is starting to work now too. Uh, I, I must have come off the, came off some other scan. But I'm, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I am now look, I'm, I'm looking less and less at my other scans and really just concentrating on on the evening scan, and uh, you know it's working out really well. And I think for new traders, for those of you who take a look, you know, especially if you come into the room and you see all the windows that I've got, and you think, my goodness, how you know, I see all the alerts. What am I supposed to do? Well, that's kind of why I'm doing this with this, uh, with this uh, in my window, Barry's window, and creating the symbol list for you. To that's all you have to do is watch it. And uh, I'm not saying it's you know you don't take every single alert, but at least it narrows down the number of things that you're going to see. And just to get yourself used to using trade ideas, and then eventually you know you might start to let me put an alert down here. You might you, you can start to develop some of your own types of scans because admittedly all of my scans are you are based on on stocks taking uh, very near the high or the low of the day. A lot of people don't like that. You know, a lot of people want want to play uh, pullback plays and all. But anyway, that's why I've, that's why I've done it and um, you know, I will continue to do it. I I'm just having tremendous success with it. All right, everybody. So I want to shut down this right now. Close the uh, this the, the daily recap. And again, in the email you're getting there, you have the promo code 25% off. And I will open the room at nine o'clock Eastern time, Monday morning. So I hope everybody has a great uh, weekend and we'll see you in the trading room Monday morning. Bye-bye.